Okay, so put away your calculators, your paper and pencil, and let's see if you can solve this simple math problem all in your head. Now, if you actually understand basic math, this should be very easy because uh, there's not many steps to take here and the steps that you do need to take are very easy. All right, so this is definitely something that you can do in your head. So mental math only, all right? No calculators, no paper, no pencil. And let's go and take a look at the problem. So we have 16 divided by brackets, nine minus five in parentheses squared and brackets times 16. All right, now, if you have the answer, put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'll walk through these uh, easy steps that we can take in our head to solve this problem. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you need help learning math, check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe, as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so once again, here is our problem, and we're not going to use any materials, right? So just see how well you can do here. And there's no time limit, okay? So I'm gonna encourage all of you to maybe pause the video. You know, think about this. And there's about three distinct uh, simple steps that you need to take uh, to get the right answer. All right, so what is the right answer? Well, the correct solution is 16. Now, if you got this right, you definitely get a happy face and an A+. Plus. Congratulations on solving this problem using uh, only your head, which is outstanding. Now, if you got a piece of paper and pencil, well, that's a good job as well, but that kind of defeats the purpose of this problem. Now, if you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I wasn't able to solve this problem. Well, no big deal. You know, uh, mental math is not something that we practice, you know, enough. So there's probably two reasons uh, that people didn't get this right, okay? Now, what are those reasons? Well, the first uh, reason is maybe you didn't understand the math, right? So if you didn't understand the math, even if I gave you a piece of paper and pencil, well, I wanna make sure that, you know, that's not an issue. Okay, so we're gonna talk about that in just one second. And the second thing is just kind of your ability to focus, right? And doing mental math calculations or just kind of doing this all in your head, you know, that does require focus and maybe, you know, you're not the best at focusing, no big deal, but these are things that you can improve upon. And uh, in terms of mental math, you know, it's really practical. It's a practical skill to have because sometimes, you know, you want to do a uh, quick calculation in your brain, or maybe you don't even have a calculator or a piece of paper or a pencil, right? So the more you practice mental math, the better you're going to be. And I think overall, you know, another huge benefit, and maybe uh, the biggest benefit here to practicing mental mathematics is it's awesome for your brain, right? So it's really like a brain workout. So no big deal if you didn't get this right, but let's uh, make sure that you didn't under or didn't get this right because you didn't understand the math. Okay, so most people are probably gonna look at this problem and be like, all right, nine minus five, that looks like a good place to start. So that is four, right? So nine minus five, uh, nine minus five is four, and we're gonna square that, right? So nine minus four squared, now, what does four squared mean? It means four times four or 16, all right? So this right here, the nine, minus, uh, nine minus five is four or four squared. So all of this right here is probably 16. Now, if you're looking at this, you're like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, that's exactly what I was thinking in my brain, that all of this is equal to 16. Well, that is fantastic. So that means that we have 16 divided by 16 times 16. Now, if you, uh, you know, got this far in the problem, that is excellent, okay? Now, if you're like, all right, well, now I gotta figure out what 16 times 16 is, but I got 16 divided by 16 times 16. So maybe you thought about the problem in this manner, 16 divided by 16 times 16. Now, you're not gonna go into your, well, you're not obviously gonna be using a calculator, but I'm not uh, certainly asking you to figure out what 16 times 16 is in your brain. Now that's a separate problem. You could probably come up with the answer, or at least some of you could uh, come up with the answer. But here, the way this is written is 16 divided by 16 times 16. So you might be thinking, you know, thinking to yourself, well, maybe we just cross cancel 
this 16 times this 16, and the answer is 1 over 16. Now, if this is the answer that you came up with, that is actually very impressive, okay? Because you were able to focus through all the steps here to get this answer. Uh, unfortunately, this answer is wrong, but your ability to focus and kind of manage, you know, this problem in your brain is excellent. Now, why is this problem wrong? Well, it's not because of this part of the problem right here. Okay, so we figured out that this is equal to 16. That's actually correct. So 16 divided by 16 times 16. The problem here is the order. Okay, we did multiplication first. So if this is what you did, well, I'm glad that you made this mistake because uh, what we need to do is review the order of operations. So anytime you have a math problem with more than one math operation involved, and what, well, what is a mathematical operator? Well, it's things like division, multiplication, addition, subtraction, and even powers. It's things we could do with numbers. So anytime you have a math problem with more than one mathematical operation like we have here, well, the order we do this problem has a huge impact on the answer. There's only one correct order that we need to take or that we have to take to get the right answer. And to know that order, well, we need to know this right here. Okay, so we're talking about something called the order of operations. And the correct order of operations in the mathematics follows this little phrase right here called PEMDAS. Now, this is a checklist. I'm going to explain this in just one second. But to, before I do, I'm going to give you a lovely little mnemonic, little memory aid, so you don't forget this, because this is critically important in basic math. And it goes like this. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. One more time. Please excuse my dear Aunt Sally. Now, I don't know what Aunt Sally did, but uh, we thank her for her contributions to mathematics. But basically, this is a checklist that goes from left to right. Okay. Now, obviously, these letters stand for something. And let's go ahead and get into this right now. Now, the first thing that we're going to start off with is this P. And the P stands for parentheses. Now, again, we're going to go through these letters from left to right. And if our math problem has any of these things, now, as we go through this checklist, we're going to do that. Okay, so the first thing is P, that stands for parentheses, but really that stands for grouping symbols. So it's how we can group numbers in mathematics. So in math, we could group numbers together using parentheses. You could use brackets like this, or even these kind of squiggly brackets like that. Now, if you have a math problem, we have parentheses and then brackets, and then um, other squiggly brackets like so. The way this works is you're going to go to the innermost parentheses do what's ever inside of that first, and then kind of work your way out. Okay, so that's what the P stands for. Now, uh, sometimes in a math problem, you're not going to have any parentheses, but again, you're just kind of going through this checklist. If you have one of these things, you need to address it. Okay, so uh, here E stands for exponents, but basically you can think of this as powers. So if we have like two to the third power, this little number in the top right is called the exponent, the bottom number, is called the base the entire thing is a power okay so e uh, stands for exponents but you can think of this as power so two to the third power means what it means take this big number two and multiply it by itself three times right so two to the third power is two times two times two or eight okay so hopefully all of you are like yes mr youtube math man i know this this is pretty easy stuff well i have a pop quiz for you Okay, so what is the answer to this problem right here? 10 divided by 2 times 5. All right, no calculators. Uh, so what is the answer to this problem? 10 divided by 2 times 5. Now, a lot of you are like, okay, come on, Mr. YouTube Math Man. This is so easy. Anyone can get this right. Well, that's fantastic. Put your answer into the comment section. Okay, so just look at it. No calculators. What is the answer? Okay, so... If you got one, well, congratulations for finding this video because one is not the answer. You need to understand the order of operations a bit better, okay? So if you got one, you might be saying to yourself, what are you talking about, Mr. YouTube Math Man? Well, I'll show you here in a second. If your answer is 25, well, that is fantastic. That means that you understand the order of operations or you've been watching my videos. Okay, so what's going on here? Well, I'm going to show you this right now. Okay, so M, D, A, and S, what, are the, uh, what do these letters stand for? So M stands for multiplication, 
D stands for division, A stands for addition, and S stands for subtraction. Now, you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, didn't you say uh, this is a checklist and it goes from left to right? So don't we do multiplication first, right? So that would make sense. And a problem right here, we have division and multiplication that we should maybe do multiplication, right? So that would be two times five. So maybe we go 10 divided by two times five is 10. 10 divided by 10 is one. That makes sense, right? Unfortunately, that's not the way this works, okay? So, and this is a very, very common mistake in basic math. And, uh, you know, because it's so common, I think it's, uh, you know, not really stressed um, strongly enough in most textbooks. It's taught, but it really needs to be taught, you know, I think, or emphasized uh, much better. And the way this actually works is you're going to do multiplication or division, whatever you see first from left to right. Okay, that's the way this PEMDAS works. Now, um, I get a matter of fact, let me just uh, show you the rest of this here. So what do we see first from uh, and this problem from left to right, we see division first. Okay, so now we're gonna do the division. So 10 divided by two is five times five is 25. Now, what I was gonna say is that I do get some feedback from uh, people and, you know, people feel pretty strongly about this PEMDAS, like, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you know, you're wrong. That's not the way this works. You know, well, I've been only uh, doing mathematics for several decades. I have a degree in math, you know, a master's degree. Uh, but don't believe me, okay? That's not, you know, don't, uh, you know, take my word for it. Go into your calculator if you don't think this is the correct order of operations and type in 10 divided by uh, 2 times 5 and see what the answer is, all right? So for those of you that don't think that PEMDAS is a real thing, uh, I'm telling you, uh, basically, you know, pretty much all, you know, textbooks that I've ever seen, definitely in the United States and most everywhere, are teaching some sort of form of PEMDAS as the order of operations. But again, your calculator follows the order of operations. Okay, so that's M and D, and uh, A and S stands for addition and subtraction, and it works the same way. You're gonna do whatever you see first, from left to right. Okay, so that is the math that we really need to understand in order to solve this problem. So now what we have to do is just focus. Okay, so I'm gonna kind of show you how I would kind of do this. You know, here's me. I'm like, all right, I got to figure this out. So I'm thinking about PEMDAS in my little brain, right? So in my brain, I'm like, I'm staring at the problem. Again, we're doing mental math only. I'm not even looking at this problem. I'm thinking only about PEMDAS. I'm like, all right, let me think about this PEMDAS stuff. Uh, and then the first letter is P. Okay, that's the only thing I'm doing here is thinking about PEMDAS. So I'm going to ask myself, are there any parentheses, any grouping symbols? Yes, indeed, we have some right here. Great. Well, is there anything inside of these parentheses that have parentheses? Yes, this does right here. So my brain is going to go right here. All I'm concentrating on is getting the answer to 9 minus 5. Okay, so that is going to be 4. Now, when I'm looking at this part, I'm just kind of concentrating on this part of the problem. I can see that once I get the answer here, 4, I have parentheses, squared, brackets, there's nothing more to do here other than figuring out what four squared is. Okay, so my next step is, all right, is there any more parentheses? Well, yes, I gotta just kind of stay inside of these parentheses, but are there any exponents or powers? Yes, so that's what I gotta do next. I gotta figure out what four squared is. Now, if I could figure out what four squared is, I mean, basically, I have, uh, you know, we'll get the right answer to this part of the problem. So let me kind of back out here. I'm trying to explain to you how my brain works, right? So I'm looking at this entire thing, and I know this entire thing is going to be equal to 4 squared, right? So in my head, I'm like, all right, got to think about 4 squared. 4 squared is 16. Okay, so now in my brain, I'm thinking, all right, I got 16 divided by 16 times 16. Okay, so at this point, I'm thinking about, uh, you know, uh, uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man's YouTube, uh, YouTube videos, right? So you're like, okay. Now, what's, uh, what comes next? Multiplication, I got division, I got multiplication. I remember watching that YouTube video that uh, said, be careful when you have multiplication and division, this could be tricky. You gotta do what comes first from left to right. Okay, so what do you see first from left to right here? We see division, all right? Very, very common error, not multiplication. So now I just gotta think about what 16 divided by 16 is. Well, 16 divided by 16, anything divided by itself is simply one. So I got one times 16, 
and one times anything is of course itself, which of course is 16. All right, so again, you know, I wanted to make sure that no one got this problem wrong because they didn't understand the order of operations. But, uh, you know, in terms of practicing uh, mental mathematics, you know, it's something that uh, hopefully you can kind of look at as kind of a game, right? See how well you can do this. Start off with simple calculations. Some of you are actually very good at calculating these, uh, these things, you know, for whatever purposes. Actually, um, I've been very impressed with uh, people that are in like some trades, like construction people. They're able to calculate uh, and do things in their head. I mean, it's very, very impressive. That just tells me that, you know, it's a skill that you can get better at, okay? All right, so with all that being said, by the way, before I even wrap up this video, I almost did myself a disservice. I'm gonna go way, way, way down here. And <laughs> it's something I always try to incorporate in this video, but I got so caught up uh, in just kind of describing this, I just wanna show you this, right? So if you got something out of this video, consider hitting that subscribe button. This really helps me out on YouTube. And uh, so far as the time for me or for my channel, I'm at like 625,000 subscribers uh, at, the time, at the time I'm posting this video. Now that's crazy to me, right? I'm well over 100 million views on my channel and I'm super grateful for all of uh, you out there that actually have subscribed to my channel. But what I wanna do is reach as many people as I possibly can. So every single person that I can help, you know, really um, counts and every single person that hits that subscribe button. Okay, so you individually, when you hit that subscribe button, it really does help me help others on YouTube. And if you're gonna do that, make sure to hit that notification bell as well. And just a little bit about my channel, uh, I cover basic to advanced math. So if you're new to my YouTube channel, I do stuff like these type of videos to uh, algebra word problems, to trigonometry, et cetera, et cetera. But uh, if you really wanna you know, uh, see my best stuff, then you gotta check out my full main math courses. You'll find links to those in the description of this video. Okay, so I always like to uh, end my videos in this manner, and that is math should be an adventure. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.